Now let's try adding our comment. So we'll create an add comment function connected to our on pressed. And for this, we'll need to create a variable called comments ref within our home.dart file. Do that up at the top. So final comments ref is equal to firestore.instance.collection of comments. So within comments, we'll make sure to import home dot dart. Now we can select our document based on the post ID, which we pass down. We'll have a collection with the path comments. And we want to add a comment with the following fields. First of all, username coming from current user dot username comment from our comment text that we have stored in our comment controller. So comment controller dot text, then a timestamp for when it was created. We use the timestamp variable from home, the avatar URL, which will be the current users photo URL and the user ID from current user dot ID. And after adding our comment to clear out our input, we'll just say comment controller dot clear. So now let's save and try adding our first comment. We may need to do a hot restart. So we'll go to our comments again, say hello world, and post that. Our comments cleared out. If we look at our database, we'll need to refresh. We see a comments collection, that's good, connected to a post ID that has a comments collection within it. And on its own unique ID, we see all of the fields that we provided. So now to display our comments, we'll head back to the expanded widget we're executing build comments. So we'll go to that function. And here we want to fetch our comments and we want to do so in real time. So whenever a user adds a comment, we want it to appear immediately. And we know that in order to get real time data, we use streams. So let's hook up a stream builder here. So we'll use the stream builder widget and the stream to resolve will be comments ref. We want to select the post by its post ID dot collection, collection of documents. And we want to say at the end snapshots. And we can optionally order this with the order by method, we can order by timestamp either in descending order by setting descending to true or in non descending order based on when it was created. That's entirely up to you whether you want the most recent posts up at the top or the oldest posts up at the top. So I'll go with oldest and say descending false. So now that we have our stream, we'll create our builder with context and snapshot. If we don't have our data yet, then we'll return our circular progress. But if we do have our data, we want to display it within some widget. So first, as we did with both user and post, we need to deserialize our individual documents from Firestore. We're going to do so with the help of the class underneath called comment. So the fields that we want to have within our app are username. And these are all going to be strings with the exception of timestamp. We want username. 
user ID, avatar URL, comment, and finally timestamp, which is of type timestamp. And we're going to need to get this type from Cloud Firestore, so we'll need to import that package. We'll pass all these values to our comment constructor. Once again, we'll copy all these values and use our multiple cursor trick to do this very fast. Once again, we'll make our factory uh, from document. We'll have a document snapshot named doc, and we're going to create an instance of comment in this case, where username will be doc username user ID doc user ID comment doc comment timestamp doc timestamp and finally avatar URL doc avatar URL so once again we're going to combine our model with our widget with our presentational widget and we're going to return from its build function just a simple column to put each comment in its data in it's going to have for its children list a list tile and then underneath it a divider to divide it from the next comment so for the list tile its title is going to be set to a text widget with the text comment. Under that, we'll have a leading value of a circle avatar, where its background image will use our cached network image provider. So we'll import that widget, and its URL is going to come from avatar URL. And we set to background image, not color. And then our subtitle will be our timestamp. And we want to format our timestamp. And the way that we're going to do that is with the help of a package called time ago. It's going to be very simple to do this. It's going to give us the timestamp when the comment was created, as we know. And so to use time ago, we just have to import up at the top the time ago package so package time ago slash time ago dot dart and we'll alias it as time ago so now heading back down we're not going to format it in any special way we're just going to say time ago dot format and pass in timestamp dot to date and there's one quick step we need to take in order to make this work in order to display timestamps here from Firestore within our app we need to head all the way back to main.dart and that's to add within our main function the ability to use timestamps in our snapshots so we need to tell Firestore to configure its settings to actually enable us to use the timestamp that we're putting in our documents to do this we can say Firestore, we'll need to import Firestore, firestore.instance.settings, and there's a setting called timestamps in snapshots enabled, which we'll set to the Boolean true. And this is going to return a future, so we'll need to add a then. And we don't need to get anything from the function that we passed to then, we, so we can just add an underscore, and we can print when this is successful, timestamps enabled in snapshots and we can add a line break by using a backward slash and then an n and if there's an error in doing this for whatever reason we can add an on error callback where we can repeat this pattern we don't need the error necessarily and we can just print on another separate line that there was an error enabling timestamps in snapshots. Okay, so that was a lot of steps. And at this point, we can save both of those files. 
and we'll need to do a hot refresh, a hot restart. And finally, one last thing that we need to do before we test this out is to actually use our comment model slash widget. So within build comments in our builder, when we get our data from snapshot.data, we need to deserialize it and we're going to put it, put the result of each deserialized document in a list called comments. So we'll have a list of type comment called comments that'll be an empty list. Then we'll take snapshot.data.documents, iterate over it with for each, for each doc. We'll say comments.add and within our add method, we're going to use comment.from document to in the same step deserialize our data and then we're going to get back our list of comments and immediately put it in a list view where children will be our comments list. So now let's save and we see if we navigate to our comments page that we have our first comment. It wasn't made exactly 14 minutes ago but the timestamps aren't exactly precise for whatever reason in Firestore. I'm not sure why that's the case, but we have all of our user data, the comment, the timestamp, and if we add another comment, we see it's immediately added just a moment ago. So our stream builder is working and we're getting our post comments in real time.